Welcome back to Motocross Madness 2. So, I said at the very end of the last part that I would probably try to play some custom tracks in this part, or maybe just play some more Nationals and Supercross tracks. Well, I have decided that I am going to try and review some custom tracks in this part. Um, I finally got around to uh, transferring all of the custom tracks I had on my old laptop onto my new one, and I actually downloaded a few extras as well, and uh, you're looking at one of the uh, extra tracks that I downloaded. Uh, this track right here was not uh, on my old laptop, but um, all of the other tracks like Nationals and Supercross custom tracks were on my that were on my old laptop, I transferred them over to here, so I will be reviewing some of them in this part. But uh, yeah, gonna be reviewing some custom tracks. I'll probably be doing this uh, from time to time, but I still want to try out some of the uh, tracks that come with Motocross Madness 2. Like I said, I still want to try some of the uh, Nationals and Supercross tracks, so I'll still be playing those, but every now and again, I will be reviewing custom tracks for this game. And this video will be just custom tracks. So, the first custom track that I'm going to try out here is a stunt event track, or a quarry track. Um, that's basically what the tra what the uh, stunt tracks in Motocross Madness 2 are known as. They're known as quarry tracks. But uh, this one is called Prison Break. Um, it sounded interesting, just the title alone, so I decided to download it. But the thumbnail for this track confuses me greatly. Because as you can see, uh, it's called Prison Break Race to the Hideout. But you have a guy on a bike in space. Like, see, there's a galaxy in the background, and in this image, there's, like, two nebulas. I think that's the Helix Nebula, if I'm not mistaken, and a galaxy. And, uh, if you look, if you really look at it, it kind of resembles a face, actually, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, it's just really confusing, because it's like a guy riding on his bike in space. But the title is called Prison Break, which leads me to believe that maybe it takes place inside of a prison, or maybe you have to break out of the prison with your motorcycle, which sounds pretty awesome, to me anyway. But, yeah, the uh, thumbnail is very confusing, but I'm going to try it out anyway, see what it's like. I haven't tried it off-screen at all, so I'm not sure if this level will even load, but uh, we'll see if it does. If it doesn't, then, well, I'll just try a different one. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's escape from the prison. It's time for a prison break. If this level will load, which I'm not sure if it will, but I have my fingers crossed. And it does. Who the heck is that guy, though? What in the world? Is he participating in this race as well? Okay. Well, this is a stunt event, so this is just... Okay, I just ran right into a guy. Alright, well, this is going good already, so... What is... What exactly is happening here? Uh... Okay. We got a whole bunch of people flying all over the place. Oh my goodness, what in the world is going on here? Wait a second. Ooh, ni nice Superman! I didn't even land that. Wait, what? What the heck is this? Ghost Rider? Uh... Wow, and what are you guys doing? What are these guys doing over here? They're just... They're just crashing into the giant Ghost Rider wall. Look at these guys, for goodness sakes. Alright, fine, join the dog pile. Whoa. Um... Yeah. The, uh... AI is obviously not designed for this course. Okay, then. This is not making any sense. Okay, well, you guys seem to be having fun. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave you guys alone. Is there even any way to get past this wall? Why, why are there just, like, bushes floating in the air? What... What is happening right now? What is this track? You know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and see, uh... See what else I can find. Whoa. Hello. What's going on here? Oh, this is like a ramp. Okay, oh, this looks cool, actually. What? What is this? What is all of this over here? Hang on, let's see if I can get in here. Whoa! Oh, land, land, land. Don't fall, please. Of course, you do the one thing I tell you not to do. Wait a second, I want to try getting up there. 
Before the time limit runs out. Um... How do I get in there? Oh, wait, I see how I get in there. Hang on. I set the time limit to just three minutes because I want to review, uh... Quite a few custom tracks, but I don't want this video to get incredibly long either, so... Hang on, I want to try getting up here. This looks cool, actually. Let's see if I can make it to the top. Maybe I can try going off the ramp for an incredible stunt. Here we go, here we go. Yes. That, wait, what? Okay. Why did I, why did I just bounce for no reason there? See, that's one of the things I don't like about this game, because, like, if, if your bike just bounces off of something, then all of a sudden you can't turn. It makes no sense. Well, I'm not gonna have enough time to get back up there now. Oh, physics. Physics. What even is this mountain over there? What is... What is this mess of colors? Like, you have... Black... Gr white... Gray... Pink... Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna try that track again, because I wanna try getting to the top of that... That... That tower, or whatever. Here we go. Let's try... Let's try getting back up this thing again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Alright, this time we are not gonna mess up, okay? We are gonna try not to mess up anyway. Alright, just just take it slow right here, okay? I wanna try getting back up. Get back up, no. Turn left, please. Okay, here we go. Now, I think I'm just gonna go all the way over here so that the random... Okay, uh, I think the ground is a bit glitched right here. Maybe that's why that's that's happening. Uh, camera, please. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. What is this? Is like a pipe? Okay, keep going. I don't know where I'm going right now, but... I'm, I'm getting higher. We're doing it right now. Okay, just nice and slow. Oh, God. Okay. That's, that's the... That's the ramp right there. We need to keep going up, though. Okay. Where... where do we go next? Oh, this way. Okay... Jeez, the textures are all stretched out here. Oh god. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Alright. Doing good. Doing good. Okay. Go on the throttle. Alright, did we make it to the top? Not sure if we did. I think we did, though. Okay. No, there's still... One... one more thing we need to go up? There's a helicopter over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, hello. How you doing, Skull? Okay, go, 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 oh my god, what is this? We are just defying physics right now. And there's the ramp. <laughs> okay. Well, alrighty then. Um, oh, come on! Seriously? Of course it spawns me back down at the bottom. Okay, I made it back to the top. You know what, just forget that ramp. Just full speed ahead. Drop right into it and- ho oh! Okay, well, I'm not gonna lift off of that. Well, that's one way to lift off of it, but... <laughs> Driver's definitely dead. Okay, well... Actually, is there- is there just any way to get up there? Like, wait, hang on. Maybe I can- maybe I can break physics again. Yep, I'm breaking physics! There we go, guys. Let's break physics again. How am I even... going up the ramp like that? Like, that's a... I'm going up at, like, a 90-degree angle. How am I even doing that? Okay. Wow, um... This game's physics engine is, uh... More broken than I... than I remembered it being. Okay, well, um... A Anti-gravity bike. Here, let's just... let's just do this instead. Probably something I... this is what I probably should have done before. Hey! And now I'm dead! Yes, I am. Okay. Let's let's just move on to the next course. Next track we're gonna try out here is called 10. I'm not really sure why it's called that, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's go. Oh, we're... Oh, we're in a stadium? I guess we are in a stadium. Oh, okay. This is cool, actually. I really wish I could I could just land this bike like normal, but okay. Well, this is cool. We're in a stadium. Well, all right. The pressure's on. Hey, I didn't want to click on Alt. That's why the camera changed. Um, 
and try and find a place to lift off here. How about right here? Hey, everybody! Land... There we go, landed it. 5,300, nice. Alright, well again, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to get the best score here. Oh! That's not gonna... Actually, that did work. Okay then, 5,700. You know what, how about I try doing this? I'm just gonna lift off into the crowd, watch this. Hello! Uh, what? I'm sorry? Uh... I just fell through the crowd. And there's actually another part of the track over here. Okay, this is not making any sense now. This is no longer making sense. Okay. <laughs> sure game. Sure game. Just 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 have to troll me like that. Okay, let's let's not go over there then. Why is there another part of the track out here though? Okay, well this uh this doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm just going to go back into the stadium. Just going to go back into the stadium. All, all the other guys have left the stadium, but I don't, I don't care about them. Okay, well, I just, I just got completely wrecked. Well, this is interesting, but I don't know why it's possible to leave the stadium, and I don't know why there's another part of the, the track outside the stadium. That's just weird. Okay, pulling off those six stunts. Pulling them off. Whee! Yeah. Darn it. I need, I need to try, I need to try, uh, making my bike lean. I need to try leaning. Try leaning and weaning. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Hey, everybody. There we go. How you guys all doing? Ooh! Got annihilated. Yeah, I'm playing dirty now. Just ran right into that guy. I don't even know what I'm doing in this game anymore. I don't know what's happening. But I like it. Maybe it's better if I don't know what's happening. Because if I don't know what's happening, then then maybe I'll enjoy it more. Alright, well that was that was an interesting track, but uh, time limit has gotten at zero. Alright. I finished 11th, but I don't care. Next track we're going to try out here is called 20, which I can only assume is the sequel to 10. I'm not really sure, but it looks like it was made by the same guy, and what is this? Why is there like a... Okay, we're just in su- what in the- okay, frame rate is eating crap right now. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, well, this is just bad. This is just bad. Um, okay, so we're- we're trapped in here, obviously, because there's this gigantic wall in the way. There's no way for us to escape, unless we can get enough air to just launch ourselves out of here. Alright, join the dog pile then. Oh! I think I took that guy out. That guy just lifted off someone's bike. Oh my god, the frame rate. The frame rate in this map is just terrible. Especially when I- Oh! Oh, I glitched! I glitched it! And it launches me back in. So much for glitching it. Yep. Traps everywhere. Of course, they set up traps. Oh, there's like a little bridge right here. But yeah, the frame rate in this map in particular is awful, especially when I'm looking over this way. The frame rate just explodes. Which shouldn't be happening because I have a very powerful laptop. Like, I'm playing this on a very powerful laptop, and honestly, I think the only reason it's doing this is because either the game engine can't handle it, or it's because I'm playing this on Windows 8. And as I mentioned in part 2, Motocross Madness 2 does have problems running on Windows 8, so maybe that's why. And also, I ran over a guy with my bike a while ago. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's, let's join the dog pile. Join the dog pile. What? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Grunting sounds are so weird. Because it's just, it's just the same grunting sounds all, all over again. Just like the same repeated grunting sounds, I mean. Okay. Well. 
that was interesting. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quit right now because the frame rate is just terrible. Let's let's just go to the next one. So the next map I'm gonna try out here is not so much a custom map as it is a port of an older Motocross Madness track. This track is called Flathead SE. It's a Nationals track, and it actually comes from the original Motocross Madness. So yeah, this track is actually thanks, jerk. <laughs> This track is actually from the original Motocross Madness, which came out for PC in 1998. So, yeah. This is a track from the original Motocross Madness, and I'm pretty sure I took that guy out right there. But, uh... I haven't really played the original Motocross Madness game all that much. I mean, I have played Motocross Madness 1 before. Um, I remember playing Motocross Madness 1 at a friend's house once. But that was like the only time I played it. I don't actually own the game. So, the only time I played the original Motocross Madness was at a friend's house. That was like the only time I played it, so... Yeah, but it's pretty cool to see that someone actually ported one of the original Motocross Madness maps into Motocross Madness 2. That's pretty cool. And, uh, <laughs> as usual, I'm doing badly in the Nationals tracks, but it's not like I care, like I said. If I can do a trick... Yeah, the trick successfully, and I just ran into a guy who was lying on the ground in the fetal position. Amazing. I probably just killed him. Because I crashed right into his head with my with the wheel of my bike. Oh god. Okay, good. Phys physics is uh physics is just is just being a jerk to me now. Well then again, I, I do have this on hard difficulty, don't I? So yeah, there we go. I finished last place again, but but again, not like I care. The next track I'm gonna play is yet another track from the first Motocross Madness game. This one is called Skylab. And, uh, looks like we're in a forest here, and oh god, the frame rate's gonna be terrible, isn't it? Because there's so many trees. Yep, frame rate is awful, as, as to be expected. I mean, this, the frame rate in this game is usually awful either way, at least if you're playing it on Windows 8, but still, it's uh, kind of ridiculous, to be honest. But it's still a pretty cool track. Look in a heavily forested area. And I am just falling all over the place. Holy jeez, come on. How are you guys all, all so far ahead of me? How are you guys, like, not messing up all that much? I mean, it's probably because I have you guys set to hard mode, but still. This is a custom track, and... What the heck? That guy is just, like, cutting through the... the track. Oh, okay. Well, we're not playing by the rules anymore, it seems. Fine. Fine, then. You're... are you gonna wipe out? No, of course you don't. Of course, I can't... I can't get up this hill right here. Good lord. How you doing, Max? You were just you were just cutting across the track a moment ago. Like just cutting all across the track. Oh my goodness. I think it's because I'm not getting enough speed here. I mean I know I know that you can uh you can tune your bike to make it uh much faster, make it make it uh perform a lot better, but I don't know, maybe I maybe I should try doing that. I've actually never tried that out in Motocross Madness 2 before. Um, okay, so Adve Avenger is cutting through the track, so at least I didn't finish in, I didn't finish in, uh, last place that time, but that was still pretty bad. And the last track I'm gonna play in this video is called Monster Mountain, and apparently it, it appears to be based off of a, of a real, wow, I really can't speak English today, can I? It appears to be based off of a real mountain, or track, because it says Tallahassee, Alabama. Is that like a real, is that a real place? So maybe this is, like, based off of a real location. I'm not really sure. But uh, we're gonna try this out, and this will be the last one that we play in this video. Wow, you guys are just are just fast and furious, aren't you? Alright. This is a wide open area right here. I hear people taking a tumble behind me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone's taking a tumble. Okay, this is, this is good AI right here. Good AI. Well, then again, the... Okay, seriously... How did I fly all the way over there? How you doing, Phoenix? He just fla fell out of the sky. Yeah, well, one thing I should mention is that the AI is not always good 
on these custom tracks because the AI is not really designed for for like custom tracks. They're designed more for the official tracks in this game. So they don't they don't work too well with custom tracks. They're not they're not too smart. I mean, some custom tracks they are they are pretty smart, but not all of them. <laughs> like for instance, the Prison Break map that we played just uh, a little while ago. Yeah, they they kept running into the into the giant ghost rider wall. I don't know what the heck that was all about. Also, if I could speed the heck up here, that would be fantastic. And if the camera would stop... May wow, okay. 360! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, just just go back on the track here. Wow, this is, this is like the worst I've ever done in this game, I think. That that was pretty funny though. Like I hit the tree and my my bike just did like a 360. I didn't even fly off my bike. Uh this game's physics sometimes. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to realize just how broken this game's physics engine is. But still, it it's pretty funny. It is pretty funny, I will admit. All right, come on here. I might as well be racing by myself now because look Look how far ahead everyone else is. Of course, I just ran into that thing. And the crappy frame rate doesn't help either, so... This is just... This is just terrible. Okay. Well, uh, you know what, guys? I don't think I'm going to finish this race, because all I wanted to do was just... Was just show this map off. So yeah, it says Tallahassee, Alabama, which leads me to believe that it might be based off of a real... Nationals track? In Alabama? I'm not really sure. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to end things. So, those were quite a few custom tracks in Motocross Madness 2. I will be reviewing more of them in the future. However, for the next episode of Motocross Madness 2, I will be trying out more of the uh, official Nationals races. I probably won't be reviewing any more uh, custom tracks in the next part. Or maybe I will. I, I don't know, but I'll have to try and find some uh, interesting ones. Um, I did find a website that contains, like, a massive amount of Motocross Madness 2 custom tracks, so try downloading some more tracks from that site, and I will link you guys to that site in the description, um, just in case you have, uh, Motocross Madness 2 and you want to try out those custom tracks for yourself, so I'll still provide the link to that website in the description for you all to go and, uh, try out, try out the custom tracks. But, uh, yeah, so this is where I'm going to end things here. Again... Um, like I keep saying, you can, if you want to purchase Motocross Madness 2, um, your best bet is to try looking for a copy of the game on eBay, because I don't think it's possible to purchase this game from Microsoft's website anymore. And, uh, I don't know why I'm saying I don't think, because it isn't possible <laughs> anymore, so... Try looking for a copy of this game on eBay, as I keep saying. Uh, don't pirate the game. I mean, <laughs> I know that Microsoft pretty much doesn't sell this game anymore, or this game's not on retail anymore, but still, don't don't pirate the game. S still support the developers either way. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later.